Hey everyone and welcome to Norris Cove. I'm Yoshida. Thank you for stopping by. Here at the Cove, we do budgeting, finances, business, minimal and functional planning. If that sounds like something that you're interested in, please stay tuned. Also, today we're going to be stuffing my business binder. Um, I added a little artwork to it, gave it a little upgrade. Um, I'd actually filmed this already, but when I went back to check it, it was in slow mo. How it got in slow mo, I don't know. But anyway, I got paid today from my side hustle, which is my stationery shop. We actually got paid $466. Um, it was the first, so it's mainly from the budget box and a couple of orders, regular orders sprinkled in there. I added, in the previous video, the I had 20 left from what was supposed to go to the bank. I had 20 also from a customer that, um, from my regular job, that I got paid a $20 for extra. So I just threw it in here to add to my 52 week challenge while I'm doing a cash, a cash stuffing. So that's why now we're at 500. I didn't take the six out the bank, but nonetheless, let's get the count. So we have 50, 150, 2, 253, 354, 420, 440, 460, 470, 480, 490, 495, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, and 500. And I normally just kind of digitally save when it comes to my business. Well, not digitally save. Like, normally, I always tell y'all it goes back into the business. Like, I was pretty much not making a profit. But today, I am paying myself back um, from the business and trying to distribute the funds properly. And that way, I don't feel like I didn't kind of do anything but go back into um, you know, put it back, back into the business, but kind of give everything a place, um, if that makes sense to you guys. So, excuse my desk. I'm still crunching out um, budget box stuff, and there's just limited space, so we're going to work on it. Let's move this here a little bit. Okay. That's the thing. When it's budget box time, even though it's not typically budget box, but I want the budget box to go out early, um... My office is a mess. It's like ground zero, but it's okay. So the first thing we're going to do, we are going to, I'm going to pay myself for once, which is basically, it's just me <laughs> repaying myself from products um, from the budget box, which I spent way over this. Um, we're probably about 800, but I'm just going to pay myself $100 back. So that goes into my wallet. Also, when I did the video before, I said it's Tuesday and I've already gone through my eating out budget. So <laughs> it is what it is. Um, so now let's get into the business. And I also was saying that I was supposed to go to the ATM, not the ATM, but to um, the teller today. I have a teller slip that I keep in this wallet. It's time for a new wallet, but um, had the teller slip, but didn't have this slip to ask her what to give me and fill it out. So, nonetheless, so first we're gonna start with taxes and six percent. I do um, Maryland taxes are six percent. Okay, first off, so it came up to like twenty eight ninety seven. I'm putting thirty in. Plus, I have this here, so any extra will go to the sales tax if I get flagged for sales tax. But I was saying in my last video that I was watching Taylor Budgets and she got all her money back that she had been putting aside. And I've always been kind of confused when I see the girls put their tax money aside because as a hairstylist, I normally pay mine at the end of the year. I can do quarterly. You can do quarterly. But I always feel like I can just do it at the end of the year. So I never save for my taxes doing hair. So I was always wondering why everyone was saving for their taxes. I thought maybe it was different. But nonetheless, I'm putting it over here just in case because I probably owe sales tax. Um, next up, we have shipping. Shipping is getting 150 Actually, my bill is already due. It's actually past due, but... I didn't want to come out of my pocket for shipping. So this will probably just go to my wallet as well. But for now, I'm going to put it in here. Unless, you know, more money comes through and I'll just add it and um, digitally. And that's another thing. This is like my first time doing my side hustle stuffing. But I want to be more accountable. I want to, you know, kind of see where my money is going. Um, and stop just transferring it back and forth. Okay, so LLC gets 50. 
and LLC is for me to become in good standing with my LLC. So I'm gonna put in a hundred in supplies. Y'all pardon me. So yeah, um, I just wanted to find that feel like I was just putting all my money back into supplies, which it will probably still go that way, but I wanna be able to see it physically, if that makes sense. And then savings gets 36. So we have 20, 30, 35, and 36. So let's go to savings. Savings gets $36. And the only reason it was getting 36 because um, there was $466. And so that's what would have been left. And then by me adding the extra $20 from the customer, um, the other 10, and I had made change in the last video through my one month ahead fund, we're gonna add this 14 to the 52 week challenge. And that will cover us for week 14. But I really think we are at court up. But I'll still add some, you know, this Saturday when I stuff. I'll probably do 20. Let's see what week we're on. So right now in the 52-week challenge, we have 50, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 101, and 2. 102 dollars. So somebody in the comments, let me know what week are we on so I'll make sure that I'm caught up. And then I have this 20 left and I can't remember what I did with that 20. I don't remember what I did with the 20. And I don't know why I got the 20 left. I think because I just added the 20. So we might have put it in equipment. I think we put that in equipment because I do need uh, some printers. My printers are low, so I'm going to put that in equipment. And then what I'm going to do, if I do decide to take the money out of the shipping, um, and like put it in my bank or what have you, what I'll do is um, start over so that next month, I'll be ahead and all that great stuff. So that's if we get some more uh, customers for the month. So that is it, you guys. Those are my cash stuffing for today. Thank you all so much for watching. If today was your first time watching any of my videos and you enjoyed today's video, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.